Hi, this week's mailbag is a little different. Actually, what am I saying? This whole channel is different. Hi, this video is sponsored by JLC PCB. If you're looking to produce some professional, high quality PCBs with a fast turnaround time, then I suggest checking them out. Not only can you order 10 PCBs for only $2, but they also offer a $20 discount on shipping for your first order. That's a pretty insane price. What do I do now? So, so far this week, um, I've got uh, two packages delivered. Uh, and let's open the first one, uh, which is from Element 14. This is the uh, second part of an order I placed uh, with Element 14, because I needed a few extra tools. So this is a cartridge for my uh, wick gun. Where is my wick gun? And if you're ever doing any rework, a wick is absolutely essential. It wicks or pulls up the solder through a copper braid. Um, very, very useful for rework. So a wick gun just essentially feeds uh, the braid through one end and it comes out this end and you've got a handy little cutter at the other end uh, because of course once the uh, braid is full of solder, it's effectively useless. Uh, so this just cuts it off uh, for you, it's quite nice. Uh, but for some reason, I can't get this uh, braid through the end, so I might just have to pull this apart. The rollers are fine, uh, everything else is fine. Just uh, for some reason the braid's not being fed through. A lot of this sort of rubbish in here may have gotten in there and jammed it up a bit. Who knows? Uh, but the uh, braid comes in through here, uh, feeds out through there, and uh, you can cut up, cut the end off. So that's quite a handy little tool. They are a little bit expensive. Um, I think this is about $40 a pop uh, just for this, and the cartridge is a little bit more expensive as well. But it's actually a handy tool. Okay, for some reason it's just still not feeding through. Okay, so I think I've discovered the issue. Um, this little rubber feeder has completely uh, perished. So it's actually, this little dial here doesn't actually spin this thing around, so that's a little bugger. And for, you know, 40 bucks, and this little rubber thing has just died. I might have to uh, 3D print something up, I think. Um, but that's for another time, I think. All right, anyway, um, I'll just have to show you how to use it without it. You've got a board that you want to remove some components off, so in this case I've got an old uh, PCB. I don't know where this came from. Uh, probably, oh, I don't know, it's one of my old projects, possibly, I don't know. Uh, but I'd like to get some of these relays off. Um, so it's fairly straightforward. You know, there's a lot of different techniques that probably people will uh, tell you about you want to have the solder wick back up into the uh, copper braid so that means you want to be able to heat uh, both the copper braid and the solder at the same time and you'll see it wick back up and the relay should just pop out. So plated through holes is pretty easy. Um, you can just suck up the solder. Now for surface mount devices it's relatively easy as well. And this is what I was mentioning earlier on about, which is the braid getting uh, full of solder. So it's effectively useless. So you just need to cut that bit off and throw it out. Now you can see that the solder's been removed, but not quite. Uh, because it's a surface mount device, it'll just sit on the pad, and even a tiny little bit will uh, keep the uh, device stuck to the PCB. Sometimes there's a little bit of uh, gentle persuasion that's required. So sometimes uh, it'll come off, but more than likely it won't. And there you have it. 
a nice uh, desoldered surface mount device. Of course you can get several different uh, grades of braid. So you can get a thick or thin braid. I got what I call a size two and size three, whatever that ends up translating as. I could probably get thicker stuff, but I don't really have a need to desolder massive relays or massive SSRs. This will do me fine for surface mount stuff. Okay, so the second package uh, is something I ordered from JLC PCB. Okay, so these are the Pi projector boards that I ordered from JLC PCB. Uh, they've already shipped already to uh, seven of the people who put their hands up for it on Tindy. And um, I've actually ordered another batch of 20 PCBs, uh, which will be coming uh, a little bit later, uh, hopefully by about Tuesday, next Tuesday. That order has already been fulfilled as well, so um, I'm going to have to order another another batch. Uh, they seem to be uh, particularly popular. Uh, anyway, let's, let's move on. So this mail bag has been shot over several days uh, because I keep getting stuff delivered um, throughout the week. So, so this is later on in the week, and I've got two new more packages. Um, I'll get into this one first, so I know what this one is. So this is an order that I placed with, funnily enough, a fabric company. Uh, no, I'm not getting into cosplay. Uh, but these are uh, glass cabochons. How do you say them? Cabochons. Cab cabochons. I don't know. However you say them. The reason why I'm getting these, I think you'll have to find out a little bit later. Uh, but essentially, no, I can't really tell you. Uh, because I've got a really nice project coming up, which you're going to love. Uh, but for now, uh, essentially they're just a dome glass, well actually they're plastic, they're not glass, lens, essentially, with a flat bottom to it. The, the reason why it's got a flat bottom is because I need to stick it on something that's flat, um, and it just uh, extends out. I had hoped that these would be a little bit more round. They're not quite as round as I'd hoped. Um, it sent me back about 20 bucks for you know 12 of them. Uh, hopefully the project I have in mind they'll come in handy and you'll see it later. It's a real doozy. Actually I will give you a hint of what I want to do with it. It's not quite um, it's not quite uh, round enough but the intent is to make an, an image of an eyeball appear to um, come out, you know, just poke out. Anyway, no more on that. Uh, that's for another project later on. I don't think I can eat these because I'm celiac and I think pretty much every single lolly in existence has wheat in it. Oh well. Okay, so the next one uh, came from Sion Rosenblum. I'm not sure if I'm saying that, mate, but um, he's another Aussie maker. Um, he started up a channel called Unexpected Maker. Thanks, Sean. Oh, Sean, is it Sean or Sion? And yes, I may have a sixth digit uh, very soon. Or maybe a seventh. Who knows? This is fantastic. So he sent me a whole bunch of these um, Neo 7 segment displays uh, that he's, he's made a PCB on. I th in fact, I think he had a live stream um, make, designing it and making it. So they're built on, what are they, WS2812s, I think. I'm not sure, but um, red, green, and blue LEDs that are fully programmable, and um, they come out uh, forming a nice little seven-segment display uh, with decimal point too. Uh, of course, you've got um, power, ground, and data. So yes, that would be based on the uh, WS2812s, I think. Let's build one of these up and see how it looks. Okay, so this is going to be a bit of a challenge, soldering with my massive uh, tip. I still haven't got a smaller tip for my soldering on. Now the other thing, I don't have uh, any solder paste with me at the moment. So the best way to solder surface mount devices uh, is just to provide a little tack point, which is just a blob of solder. Then you place the component down on top of it uh, and then solder that. Once you've got that tacked, then you go around and solder the other bits.
Now with normal LEDs you could use a uh, tweeze, which is basically a tweezer with a battery on it that lights up the LED. But these are slightly different LEDs. You can't actually just apply a voltage to them and have them light up. So they've got a little tiny notch on one side and Sean has put a little notch on the PCB. So they essentially line up like this on that side. Okay, looks like I won't be able to solder the uh, the top row, middle and bottom row because I have a fat tip and my small tip hasn't arrived yet, which is a real bugger. Now the next one is just way too big uh, to fit within the camera frame. Uh, and fortunately I don't have my second camera up and running. It's I didn't have enough battery. For some reason it's a little bit flaky. Um, so let's open this one up. So I seem to have a bit of an obsession with uh, displays at the moment. So this is a Gacken World Eye, which is a dome-shaped display uh, with a simple HDMI input. Bugger. Another US plug. The Gacken World Eye, uh, it's got a, a HDMI input uh, USB and also headphone jack for some strange reason. Um, standard 5 volt power pack. It's got a remote control. They've also given me a little USB dongle. I don't know what it is. Let's plug it in and see what comes up. Probably some sort of demo. Okay, so the resolution isn't that fantastic. It's only uh, 640 by 480. And I think it's the only one of its type that is completely round. So let's fire it up. Okay, you can hear a fan going. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. Originally I thought it was some sort of LCD screen, but I think this is just a, a projected screen. We could probably actually make one of these um, relatively easy, with uh, especially with the uh, Pi projector, HDMI input, USB. Actually really hard to see a curved screen. <laughs> see all the menus on a curved screen. Got to figure out these uh, controls. Okay, maybe if I press play. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Oh, fish, nice. So we've got audio. The resolution's fairly consistent um, throughout the whole whole screen. So it's a fairly decent projected uh, screen. You can hear a little motor running. Obviously a fan to keep things cool. How do you get rid of that? How do you stop it? Home. Sounds good, yeah, get rid of that. Oi, oh, konnichiwa. Nice. Okay, shut up. Okay, uh, let's plug it into a something that's got an HDMI output and see what it looks like. Okay, that's what I want. I want an HDMI input. HDMI input. Right, what can I connect up? Okay, I got a little Pi 3, I'll connect up. Well, that's funky. Nothing like seeing a boot screen in, in a globe. Um, so obviously, it's not like a normal screen. Uh, you'll get some sort of loss on the edges. Uh, and you'll have to drive it slightly differently with video that's been uh, changed. It looks all right. Uh, let's play a video. So it's a pretty good uh, little display. Um, of course, you get a lot of distortion when you're playing back a flat image. <laughs> it's actually pretty cool. It's a nice uh, alternate display. And if you get sick of um, that sort of display, you can do this. So uh, Glenn Aikens updated the uh, Adafruit Pi Eyes uh, Python code, and which supports the the GAC and World Eye. Uh, so it creates a little Cyclops type eyeball. That's a bit creepy, really, isn't it? Hmm. If it only be able to follow you around the room. Hmm. Okay. So this is the uh, last package I think I'll get uh, this week. 
and this is yet another JLC PCB order I made and uh, this is yep it is this is the uh, PCBs that I made with my mate uh, Tim uh, who wants to deck out his uh, Nerf Blaster with uh, well I don't know he, was, he wants to be able to control his Nerf Blaster so these are the PCBs that we made um, and in fact I've got another video uh, that I shot with him uh, it's Tim's MOSFET Rev 1.0 and um, it's a fairly simple board I uh, taught him how to uh, make the PCB and all the way through to ordering uh, so it's a nice little board it's fairly simple it's just a MOSFET uh, so I think I'll leave the uh, building out of this one to uh, a later video uh, which will be the second part of uh, that video So there we go. That's that's it for the While I was editing uh, the video for this mailbag this was uh, delivered at the door That's right, I had completely forgotten I'd ordered two skulls. It's a pretty decent uh, little skull looks uh, fairly realistic too it's just a plastic one so yes uh, this is an upcoming project I have uh, most of you might uh, guess what sort of uh, thing I have planned uh, but stay tuned for that don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel do it now okay now thanks for watching and see you next week. Oh, 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 oh.